Hello and welcome back to the tutorial on how to use the Firebase of and Firestar plugin for Bubble. Um, a quick recall of the last video we showed how to create a new document and I just uh, realized that I, <laughs> I ignored the reference type and to explain how it works but basically the reference type is a reference to another document in my database and to do a reference type, if I do a reference, uh, actually let me let me emulate this by doing like a reference to another another task, for instance. I must provide the name of the collection the document is in, and the uh, unique ID of that document uh, of said document. So I would provide the value. Uh, like so and I would have to add here the same name for the field and say that this field is a reference uh, just uh, clarifying this if you are um, interested in using the reference type but right now it's not the purpose of our tutorial the next thing we want to do in our tutorial is to display the data we just created in our uh, document, in our tasks uh, collection, um, and we want to display it in the front end. To do so, as Bubble is not natively connected to Firestore, we must use uh, an element from the plugin called Firestore Data. And here it is, Firestore Data. I'll just add it to the page. I like to add it um, in, in the well, in the root <laughs> folder of the page, let's say, like, uh, like that, or the root group. And I'll just make it zero width and zero height, so it doesn't mess with my UI. And there it is, and I'll call it uh, tasks for better reference or to reference it later. And what options do we have here? We have lots of options here. and. I, and and I'll, I'll, I will briefly go through them here. So uh, the Firestore collection, of course, determines which collection we want to get data from. And of course, it is the tasks collection. Uh, we want to, do we want a list or a single type, a single document? If I say it's a single document, I must specify which, uh, which unique ID of this document I, I want to get from from which document I want to get but right now we want a list a list of tasks of course and uh, the sort field I want to sort them by due date maybe and uh, the due date is a date type and it I wanted to display it uh, actually not the same because I want to see the tasks more uh, the more urgent tasks instead of the the not so urgent ones. So you don't need to specify this, just show, showing that how to how to configure these options. So the sort options, you must specify which field from your documents you want to use for sorting and which type of field it is. Of, co of course, you only can sort uh, fields of types, uh, text, number, and date. And uh, and you have some filtering options too, but I'll just skip through them right now and just get our list. So uh, we want to feed our repeating group of this list. Where is a repeating group? Here it is. And what type of content must I use for the repeating group? It's the type text, that, because as I was saying, Bubble doesn't recognize, of course, the the JSON data that comes from Firestore, but and to do that, I uh, we've have implemented some functionality to interpret this text that is feed to the repeating group and turn it into uh, data you can use. So the data source for this group will be the Firestore data tasks element that we just added, and we want the list of documents from it. There are a lot of a uh, bunch of other data you can access here but right now we want the list of documents and okay um, what will that give us actually 
it won't give us much. I'll show you that if we actually let me get uh, uh, the higher, yeah, higher, higher hierarchy container. Okay, now okay. So if I just let's say get uh, the text in this description sample here, you see that is it is some JSON data. Let's see if it will already get the document for us. And there it is. So you see how easy it was to bring the data from Firestore to our app, but that's not some data we can use yet for Bubble. So we have to develop a second element called a Firestore, uh, Firestore Doc Field Extractor. Don't mind the names, we think that's descriptive, uh, descriptive enough. So I'll just add this element here in my uh, my repeating group container, which I chose to use as an align to parent one. Uh, let me put this a bit smaller just to be sure that it won't mess with my UI. And this field extractor will extract a task and where will it extract data from? Well, from my document data. The document data is the current cell text, which uh, the current cell task text is on the on this group right here. It's getting the current cell text, so I'll feed the parent group text to it, and it will feed this uh, JSON file into the uh, doc doc extractor. And then, when I do that, I can choose which fields to extract from it. So I can get the description as a text type and the due date as a date type. And there it is. Now I can reference this, uh, this field extractor to get my data. So here in this in this field, in this text field, I want to put the description so I can do the doc extractor field for tasks get the first field i guess it's the first right description and the second field is the due date so i can get the due date here let's get the doc extractor here and get the field two and format it see that as we defined it as a as a date type from bubble I can access all the functionalities from bubble for dates so I want it to be formatted as uh, actually let's make it custom do the day and the month like so okay now let's see how it brings us the data and voila there it is the another task created from bubble and something to do tomorrow and in my uh, Firestore data tasks element, I have defined this data to be dynamic. If you don't want this to happen, you can check the, the box make data static. But as I didn't check this box, what will happen is if I do another task, so yet another task here, and add a due date, let's say the 27th of July, and add it. There it is, it's automatically uh, updated from the Firestore data element and feed it into our repeating group exactly like you would expect it to happen in a bubble interaction with, or rather with an interaction with the bubble database. So nice, isn't it? And the cool thing is that if we delete a document here, let's say delete a document here, directly from the manager in the the console it will be reflected to the to our front end so it is uh, very useful for you to always show your user the updated data but if you don't want to use to do that you can always make data static and when you do that the yet another task if i delete it where is it? You have another task, so I'll delete the document. And it won't reflect in my front end. If I try to update here or add another task, 
So let me do yet another new task and try adding it here. It also will not reflect reflect the data here, uh, but it will be in our uh, uh, Firestore. So be mindful of how to use the static option. I, I think most cases are very, um, uh, or, or most cases is better to use the non-static one, the dynamically updated uh, data, of course. So there it is. That's how to display data in our front end. Hope that clarifies a bit of how to use the plugin.